Welcome to our video tour of the 2011 Focus on Imaging show. We start off at the Wacom stand with tablets and pen sensitive displays. You can't really miss the Nikon stand. It, Nikon have the biggest stand at the show spread over two separate stands and they had lots of nice big lenses for people to try out. They also had um, a theatre for demos and later on we'll see a, a short clip of Andy Rouse demonstrating some of his work on the Nikon stand. Of course without Canon present this year uh, after a surprise late withdrawal Nikon had the show almost to itself. Tamron were there and one of the interesting new lenses they had to show was the 18 to 270 super zoom image stabilized. It's quite long when um, at full zoom but as you'll see in a second it's quite compact when um, at the wide angle setting. Corel was there to demonstrate the photo and video editing software, including PaintShop Pro. Again, they had their own theatre. Pentax was a welcome returned returnee to the show, and they had the impressive looking medium format 645D on show with lots of lenses. And there was plenty of hands on time with the 645D2. This is a camera that many thought would never see the light of day, but here it is and uh, attracting a lot of attention. There's also a chance to see a silver K5 DSLR. All the lenses were also on display and quite a few examples were available to touch and try. Color Confidence is a regular attendee at the show for all your co color calibration and adjustment needs. Over at Fujifilm they are of course promoting 3D, 3D stills as well as 3D movies. This is their latest 3D camera. And this is the new retro style camera from Fujifilm. And back to the 3D demo. Sigma, of course, are there all the time and they have a modest stand, but it's one of the most popular with lots of people asking for information about the latest lenses. And again, lots of hands-on opportunities. Now, this is a Far Eastern manufacturer, although represented by their Polish distributor, Samyang, and they make interesting, affordable manual focus lenses in a variety of mounts and this is their new 35mm f1.4 a very fast medium wide angle lens which is full frame compatible. JVC which is now um, a separate company from Panasonic um, they had an interesting uh, still and video camera which um, has very fast still frame shooting Sony had a huge stand at the show and they've, they're a regular uh, exhibitor at Focus now. Uh, once again, they're promoting 3D. This is the NEX5. And here are some legacy lenses attached using adapters which I think is going to be a big thing with all the new compact system cameras. Sony compacts of course are very um, popular including their super zoom bridge cameras. 
and back to the NEX range, interchangeable lens, compact system cameras. Arch rival Panasonic was nearby. They also had a very large stand and this is their second year at Focus. 3D again is a big highlight for them, both for stills and video. This is the new GF2 with a touchscreen, compact system camera, micro four thirds format, and you can see lots of exploded cameras if you like to look at the <laughs> insides of cameras to see how they work. Lots of lenses and accessories on display. Kenro with their collective brands is uh, there. Don't forget to insure your camera. There are a couple of insuring uh, insurance companies um, at the show. ISO monitors, of course, very, very desirable, high quality, but very expensive LCD monitors. NEC were there as well. Olympus had a small presence on the Bright Publishing stand, demonstrating the pen, micro four thirds range, and the E5. They had a small studio set up with a model and a Triumph motorcycle. This is at the Harman Technology stand, and uh, that's a big old plate camera there. You can have your picture taken. Innova is one of the paper manufacturers for fine art papers, and they were there. You can't miss Epson, really. Not a lot new from Epson, but they did have uh, the R3000 and V600 scanner on display and plus all their tried and tested medium format printers. This is the Westcott Lighting Company with a very popular uh, studio setup. Continuous lighting there, not flash. More insurance options. Computer Manuals is the name of the company, but they have lots of books on digital photography. There were lots and lots of theatres with live demos and this is the Flash Centre demonstrating how to use studio lighting. Lots and lots of bargains to be had, both brand new and second hand. Billion bags, good old traditional bags. Lasterlite for studio lighting and uh, we tested one of their products recently. Giotos tripods from the Damon group along with low pro bags and there's Ilford next to the Harman technology stand and another look at Laster Light again the Photix people were demonstrating their flash accessories and they seem to have an app for um, a tablet computer. This is Drobo um, storage. And this is Hewlett Packard, who had their fine art printers on display. Big, large format printers. And there's Andy on the Andy Rouse on the Nikon stand. A very popular draw to the Nikon stand, showing off all his fascinating wildlife photography. Lots and lots of lighting at Focus. It's a, it's a great place to go if you're interested in um, studio lighting. Permajet, of course, with ink and papers. 
not forgetting Qatar bags, very high quality bags. So the National Geographic bag brand. Delkin devices for all sorts of accessories for your camera. And this is the space where Canon was supposed to have exhibited. All, you, all that was there was some extra space to sit down and to have a massage. Adobe, of course, had a big presence at the show, and again, lots of demos. Coming to the end, Manfrotto, with their supports, tripods, etc., as well as bags and um, even jackets, and their Jitso brand of high-quality tripods. Sony had lots of kites on their stand, which is rather nice. And Bones was there, of course. And last of all, On One Software with all their useful utilities. Thank you very much.